Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. As they say, 95% of the ocean floor remains unexplored, and will probably remain so for the foreseeable future. But the unknown stuff aside, we still have some figuring out to do for the parts of the oceans and seas that we've extensively studied. Check these out. 10 deep sea anomalies that scientists can't seem to have conclusive explanations for. Number 10. An ancient structure in the Sea of Galilee. The Sea of Galilee in Israel is known in religious circles as one of the sites for Jesus Christ's miracles, but for the scientific community, there's a whole other intriguing find below the lake's waters, a large mound whose origins and purpose are yet to be deciphered. The stone structure was accidentally discovered in 2003 during a sonar survey expedition, buried 30 feet below the water surface, and according to approximations, it spans a diameter of 230 feet and a height of 32 feet. That's pretty much the only info that researchers can confidently give about the mound. Gathering any more details about it has been hindered mainly by the fact that the mound is underwater, so excavation is both a challenge and forbiddingly expensive. So that being said, scientists have been able to make a few educated guesses about the structure. For instance, using the amount of sand that has accumulated at the bottom of the mound's base, they've placed its age at between 2,000 and 12,000 years ago. Also, it might have been built on land before being swallowed up by the lake later on. But how was it built, and for what purpose? Who knows? Number 9. The Baltic Sea Anomaly Is this proof of extraterrestrial life? In 2011, a Swedish team dubbed Ocean X bumped into an interesting find 300 feet below the Baltic Sea. While searching for an old shipwreck, the group captured a sonar image of a seemingly mysterious formation that has since come to be known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly. The grainy nature of the object's image has only fueled more speculation over the years. According to the Ocean X team, the anomaly is about 200 feet long, describing it as both unusual and of unnatural origins. Of course, it immediately got people talking with speculations leaning more on the side of the object being a sunken UFO. A graphic illustration of the object that likened it to the Star Wars Millennium Falcon spurred the rumors even more with UFO enthusiasts across the world insisting that we finally found proof of intelligent alien life. But what do scientists have to say about the rock? They contend that it's a result of glacial deposit, which makes sense considering that much of the Baltic Sea floor formation was heavily influenced by glacial processes, so it doesn't seem like an anomaly if you think about it. But many people believe that the object is a wrecked UFO craft, so it's definitely worth a mention. Number 8. Undersea Rivers How is it possible to have a river flowing under the sea? Aren't rivers supposed to, like, empty into the sea? Well, some rivers do empty into seas and other large water bodies. Others just keep going for several miles before spilling their waters into the ocean. Just like your conventional rivers, these seafloor streams have banks, rapids, and floodplains, basically all the stuff you'll expect of a river. And they're not some tiny negligible streams of water either. Some undersea rivers are way bigger than most of the land rivers we see every day. The Black Sea undersea river that runs on the floor of the Black Sea, for instance, is so big that it'll have ranked sixth worldwide had it been on the surface. Other undersea rivers have been discovered in the Amazon Basin, Bengal in India, Greenland, and the Congo. Who knows? There could be more, so it's probably just a matter of time before these two are uncovered. But even with more discoveries, no one has an idea about what goes on in these rivers. They're highly unpredictable and tend to be quite powerful, so getting into them directly isn't exactly a good idea. Number 7. Immortal Jellyfish the reality with life is that one day it must end. No two ways about it. Well, that's true for every other organism except the immortal jellyfish that can theoretically live forever. Theoretically, because the process of averting death requires some very specific conditions to happen, and the jellyfish can also be snapped up by a predator, in which case there will be no coming back. These conditions include sudden temperature changes, starvation, disease, damage of the jelly's bell, or a reduced salinity level in the water. Any one of these sets off a chain of events that turns the jellyfish into a polyp, its second development stage. After some time, the polyp grows into a baby jellyfish and starts living as a complete animal again. While we know exactly what happens with immortal jellyfish, scientists are yet to figure out how the jelly cells can go back and forth from developed to undeveloped and then back to adulthood again. Number 6. The Upsweep 
The deep sea isn't just home to strange beings. It also harbors some particularly eerie sounds that have baffled scientists for some time now. The upsweep is one of these sounds. It was first recorded in August 1991 by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, although experts reckon that it has always been around. And it's still around to this day, only it's been declining in intensity with time. Nevertheless, it's still strong enough to be recorded throughout the Pacific. It's also seasonal, becoming more pronounced in spring and autumn. Despite this information, the exact source of the upsweep has never been deciphered to this day. Is it a yet-to-be-discovered animal species, or is it just some natural phenomenon? Whatever it is, it could definitely win a game of hide-and-seek. But while the upswoop source has been hard to decipher, researchers have been successful in working out other strange sounds, like the bloop that was famously thought to be a form of unknown sea monster. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. Turns out that's what a huge chunk of ice breaking off sounds like. Other strange sounds recorded over the years include the whistle, train, Julia, and slow down. Number 5. Narwhal Tusks Narwhal, or more popularly narwhal, is a toothed whale found exclusively in the Arctic region, where it's an important source of vitamin C for the Inuit people. It's known by the long tusk growing right through its upper lip, so it's actually the closest thing to unicorns if you think about it. Usually, the tusk is the major distinguishing feature between males and females. Actually, it's almost entirely a male feature, occurring in females only occasionally. But what exactly is it, and what purpose does it serve among these close relatives of the dolphin? Well, scientists know it's a tooth, a long canine tooth that can grow to as much as 10 feet long. The exact purpose of the tusk, on the other hand, is still up for speculation. For some reason, no one has figured out the role of this most conspicuous narwhal part. That being said, some experts have suggested that the tusk might play a role in attracting mates and warding off potential rivals. Number 4. Milky Sea Phenomenon You know what's more fascinating at night than a starlit sky? A glowing ocean. For years, the Milky Sea Phenomenon has scared and fascinated sailors who didn't know any better about this strange effect. According to BBC Earth, the seafaring guys had no idea what was going on with the water, but ultimately concluded that it was definitely not a good thing. And most scientists also ignored reports of the ocean looking any different than it should. But today we know, to an extent, why the sea sometimes glows so much that it can be seen from space. The Milky Sea is nothing potentially harmful other than trillions of bioluminescent bacteria. The very first clear view of the strange phenomenon was in 1995, which set off scientific interest in the area. And while we know what causes the glowing, there's still a lot to be done. Like, why do the bacteria light up the way they do, and why do they gather in such a huge number? According to some theories, though, the glowing is important for attracting fish that consume the bacteria. That way, the bacteria can have a new home in their predator's gut. Number 3. A Mysterious Purple Orb Still on glowing organisms, researchers bumped into an intriguing one on the California ocean floor. In 2016, some researchers were out in the ocean doing their thing when they noticed a small, strange, purple-colored spherical creature attached to a crevice. It didn't even look like an organism at first. It was actually more of an egg, and the researchers found out that it was a complete animal when they took it out for more observation. Just what kind of species the ball is has never been determined, but the researchers fathom they might have landed on an undiscovered organism, with ongoing findings suggesting that the orb might be a new species of the Velutinidae family of small sea snails. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. The Cancun Underwater Museum As you can probably already tell, this isn't really that much of a mystery, since, you know, a museum is obviously man-made. And it's not that hard to explain a man-made feature, unless, of course, it was constructed thousands of years ago, like the Great Pyramids of Giza, that researchers can't seem to agree on the exact building techniques used, but that's a story for another day. The Cancun Underwater Museum in Mexico deserves a mention in this video because, well, it's underwater, a rather unconventional location for a museum. It's made up entirely of sculptures, about 500 of them, depicting various life themes. The now popular tourist attraction site welcomes over 750,000 visitors per year who take 
four to eight meter dives for the spectacular seafloor views. So what was the motivation behind the unusual museum? Why didn't they just set up the statues on land or something? First, that wouldn't have been as intriguing. Land statues are the norm. Normal is boring. But most importantly, the underwater museum was set up as a way to ease the stress the coral reefs in the area were facing due to an uptick in diving activities. And it certainly worked. Launched in 2009, the museum is now considered a world preservation site. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, Yanaguni Monument. An ancient lost city or a natural rock formation? That has been the debate since the Japanese Yanaguni Monument was discovered in 1986. But going by the site's nickname of the Japanese Atlantis, you can tell which side of the debate is winning. Sides aside, what's up with this underwater monument? The structure is made up of clear-cut stone that rests just a few feet below the water surface. The monument is also quite symmetrical and features what looks like steps, clearly man-made, you'd think. But if anything, it's not that simple. Apparently, Mother Nature can be just as precise in cutting stone. According to experts who insist that the Yanaguni Monument is natural, it's not unusual for sandstone to break in such a fashion with straight edges in everything. This, they add, is even more likely considering that the monument's location is in an area with a good deal of fault lines and lots of tectonic activity. Those who believe that the formations are man-made, on the other hand, believe that many straight edges can't occur naturally in one area, and so the debate rages on. Which side is correct? Hard to tell. Meanwhile, you can always drop by to enjoy the intriguing underwater site. It's a favorite hangout spot for diving enthusiasts. 